So it's a new year and it's already been rather exciting. I had my new 600mm F4ZTC delivered a few weeks back now and thought well what better way to test it out than uh, working with a subject that in the past I've failed rather miserably to make any decent shots of, that being the bitten. From my initial experiences I'm really excited to get out after so many subjects with this new lens. It's going to be fantastic having a 600mm in the bag giving me more reach for distance and tricky subjects and just a new angle for when I'm working with the familiar. For those of you who don't know, I grew up in the Lee Valley, a location that over the years has been well known for bitterns. The hide that I'm sat in may have been redesigned recently, but it overlooks the same patch of reeds that these wetland specialists have been fond of for decades now, a location that's also rather special to me because it's where I went on my first ever bird watching trip. Looking for bitterns is all about patience. These birds rarely do anything in a hurry, so often you're in for a wait. Superbly adapted to the reed bed, it can certainly take a while to get your eye in and pick them out. When I'm looking for birds like this, my binoculars really are key. The field of view and the magnification makes them great for long periods of scanning and it can help to roll the focus wheel in and out of focus, looking not necessarily for a bird, as it were, but for oddities in the reeds. Maybe it's a patch of colour that's ever so slightly different, or some small piece of movement in the opposite direction to the wind. Scanning along the edge, these are favourite spots for bitterns, and sometimes, seemingly without any warning or any movement, they can just appear. Of course, in a habitat like this, there's always ducks, coots, birds of prey overhead, there's always something to look at if you're in for a long wait. I think I could never get bored of sitting in a hide watching wildlife. The weather certainly hasn't been that great over the last few weeks, lots of rain that hasn't been ideal for some of the other subjects that I've been looking for, but for bitterns, well, they seem to love it. With time and patience my searching has certainly paid off, catching a glimpse of those incredibly well camouflaged feathers amongst the reed, they blend in so well it's easy to see how they can go undetected even when only metres away. The bitten has had an amazing recovery here in the UK. Only a few decades ago there were less than a dozen, but now through conservation and habitat restoration, they really are starting to flourish again. Planting of reed bear throughout the Lee Valley, as well as through much of East Anglia, has provided a whole wealth of locations for these birds to winter and breed. I've certainly been very lucky to watch bitterns over the years. However, photographically the last few weeks, have certainly been some of the best. Working to create images, I've been focusing on a mixture of shots, looking to create environmental portraits as the birds move through the reeds, but also images that showcase their camouflage and of course, some of those simple cracking close-ups.
As a first test of my new 600mm ZTC, it's been a rather perfect opportunity. The nature of the shoe working from a fixed location, often requiring extended reach, has really played into the benefits of the 600mm. The built-in TC is such a fantastic upgrade for a super telephoto shooting. No time being lost whilst adding or removing the TC, allowing for quick changes in focal length without taking your eye from the viewfinder, something that's especially useful in those quick wildlife encounters. The AF speed has also blown me away so far. There really is no change at all when using the TC, and that's just absolutely perfect. It's also been so much faster than I expected from a 600mm, a big improvement even over the FL version that I used a year or so back. Of course, it's a bit of a change from my old faithful 300mm 2.8, but I'm really excited for the new challenges and opportunities it's going to bring. Although, of course, my 300mm is going nowhere anytime soon. Over the last few weeks then, in addition to Bittens, I've been working on shoots with a number of different subjects and species, and I can't wait to share more images and videos soon with the new lens. I really do appreciate all of you who watch these videos and who comment and like them, but um, if you haven't already subscribed, it really would do me a huge favour. It helps the videos reach more people and, uh, you know, keeps you up to date with all my new uploads. So if you haven't already, be sure to click down below and uh, sign up for updates. Anyways, with that guys, I'm signing off from this video. Heading out with my new lens. So until the next one, be sure to get out there, enjoy your wildlife photography, and hopefully I'll bump into some of you out in the field.